Hi, my name is Jan. I'm a teacher of FICT and I was responsible for the last year to build up this studio. This is the FICT virtual production studio or XR studio if you want. Um, and yeah, we have been very busy with building this space up to uh, have something really cool and new to show and for our students to work in. So this big screen is an LED wall with roughly 4K resolution and uh, we use it as an interactive background for photography, for video and for all kinds of interactive projects that people might come up with in the future. And it's also the heart of our TV studio or studio that we have been built here. So in the last few years, what was uh, yeah, the big thing in movie production is the, is the topic virtual production or XR. Yeah. So it's uh, when you use CD engines to generate backgrounds that move accordingly to the camera position and that are dynamic. And it basically replaced green screen work as something that is much higher quality because it happens in the camera and you don't have to do any post, or not as much post production as you used to. And uh, people can directly be put in the environment, in the virtual environment that you work with. And that's a little bit the motivation for this because this is very state of the art and we hope that our students can yeah, explore this uh, in this in this space and get accustomed with all the technologies around this. So I keep telling that this is more or less a technological playground and that's a little bit how it's meant to be and of course we have some ideas about it so it can be a TV studio, it can be an event space or it can be this virtual production studio that I talked about but it's also something where we hope that students will explore themselves together with the teachers and also our partners in education what can be done in this space, uh, what can be yeah, new things that can be developed, can be tried out and we hope that this uh, sparks a lot of ideas in, in the crowd. So at the moment we are expecting that we can be uh, opening this space somewhere in October, so shortly after the new school year started. But it's definitely an ongoing process where we also want to develop the space together with the students and to figure out what, what can be done that we maybe even didn't think of yet. Um, but you can expect this space to be available for projects somewhere from September, October.